women have been taking over the automobile industry. And the show, All Girls Garage, has certainly proved it. One of the prominent members of the show, Jesse Combs, is one name that we cannot deny when we talk about the show, which successfully impacted the viewers. While Jesse, aka the fastest woman on four wheels, did have to bid goodbye at an early age, she certainly did leave a legacy behind. Today, let's find out a little more about the racer from South Dakota, Jesse Combs. But before we continue, please subscribe to our channel and be part of our family by ringing the bell. How did Jesse Combs earn the title of fastest woman on earth? Born in South Dakota, Jesse Combs grew up in a family of seven. Following her graduation from Wyo Tech in 2004, Jesse's first professional job came when she was hired to build a car from the ground up to debut at the Specialty Equipment Marketing Association's SEMA show. As a professional racer, Jessie had taken part in several events and shows. She has won several races, such as Ultra 4 Stampede in 2014, Raleigh Accia de Gazales 2015, and Ultra 4 King of the Hammers 2017. In 2013, Jessie broke Lee Breedlove's women's four-wheel land speed record that stood for more than 45 years. She recorded 398.954 miles per hour, that's 632 kilometers per hour, and a top speed of 440.709 miles per hour, 709 kilometers per hour. And this record earned her the title of fastest woman on earth. In 2015, she was invited as one of the first women to compete in the race of gentlemen, driving a twin engine 1913 Model T. In 2016, the racer set a new top speed of 477.59 miles per hour, 768.61 kilometers per hour, in her pursuit of becoming the fastest woman overall. Jesse Combs in All Girls Garage. Besides being a talented racer, Jesse also had a thing for acting. The professional racer appeared in the seventh season of Mythbusters while Carrie Byron was on maternity leave. She has also hosted several shows, including Power Block, The List, 1001 Car Things to Do Before You Die, All Girls Garage, and Overhaulin. She has also appeared in an episode of Jay Leno's Garage as Jay Leno's guest driver. Besides being a TV star and a racer, Jessie was also a brand representative and a product expert for several companies. She also used to own a metal fab shop and worked there. The tragic end for the fastest woman on earth. With an ambition to beat her very own record, Jessie took her jet-powered car to the Alvord Desert in the attempt to break the record, Jessie faced a crash, which she could not avoid. The front wheel's failure caused the crash, and the racer suffered blunt force trauma to the head, which led to her death on August 27, 2019, just at the age of 39. Following the incident, many of her friends and fans expressed their sorrow on the internet. Combs' partner, Mr. Madden, wrote that, no record could ever be worth her not being here. Combs' two runs in opposite directions across Oregon's Alvord Desert on August 27th averaged 522.783 miles per hour, 841.338 kilometers per hour, which broke the existing women's land speed record of 512.71 miles per hour, 825.13 kilometers per hour set in 1976 by Kitty O'Neill at the exact location and was eventually verified by Guinness World Records. Her foundation, Jesse Combs Foundation, has been running successfully and has been providing scholarship opportunities for dozens of people despite her death. Who is your favorite racer of all time? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.